Buff Nation, what up? BWB, my bandwagon buffs, what's poppin'? It's your man's Harry, Brrr, billion. I'm back with another one. I wanna get straight to work, guys. Before I get into this work, I need you to hit that subscribe button on YouTube. I need you to hit the like button. If I do a good job, comment. I really appreciate the comment. You guys are helping me grow. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. That is incredible. All of this in the span of one month. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I got some fun information I wanna share with you guys, so let's dig in. Guys, if you're watching the game this season, there's an award-winning section of the stadium that's gonna be rocking, that's gonna be making sure that the noise gets all the way out of the stadium so that we can hear it all the way over here in New York City. And in order for me to tell you who these award winners are, I want you to come with me to Jamaica, Queens, July 6th, 1975. A young 15-year-old girl named Sabrina Jackson gave birth to a baby that she named Curtis James Jackson III. So after giving birth eight years later, unfortunately, Sabrina Jackson lost her life to the hardcore streets of New York. After his mother passes away, Curtis James Jackson III, he moved in with his grandparents in Jamaica, Queens. Young Curtis had dreams of becoming an MC. Young Curtis had dreams of doing music. He wanted to be the best MC that he could be. He wanted to be a wordsmith. He wanted to put words together and do verbal gymnastics that can make your head spin and your head nod and you can knock somebody over at a party. Young Curtis wanted to be a rapper. Every rapper needs a name. He decides to borrow a name from a young stick up kid from Brooklyn named Kevin Martin. And that name was 50 Cent. After several years of doing his music and rocking the streets of Jamaica, Queens, he gets his first break in 1996 and runs into a legend named Jam Master J from Rum DMC. Jam Master J and 50 get in the studio to do records after records and do a couple of albums that were never released due to some politics in the record industry. But there was one song that broke through, one song that shot his popularity up and got the attention of people in the industry, especially people like Jay-Z. That song was called How to Rob. And because he put out some heat, he was eventually introduced to a little name called Eminem. And when he met Eminem, Eminem was so impressed, he didn't let him out of sight. He made sure that he got signed right away to his shady record label. And he also signed to Dr. Dre Dre's Aftermath Entertainment. After meeting Eminem and Dr. Dre, 50 Cent goes in the studio to record his first commercial studio album. It was called Get Rich or Die Trying. In 2003, Get Rich or Die Trying debuted at number one on the Billboard charts. Later that year, after the success of his first album, 50 Cent launched his own record label. And that record label was called G-Unit. So now, let's go back to Colorado. Let's go to Folsom Stadium. And let me put all of this together for you. The school is actually named the University of Colorado. However, they use UC for 50 years. After 50 years, just to distinguish the acronym, instead of UC, they changed it to CU to distinguish themselves from the University of California, 1924 to 1925. So now you get CU. Let me tell you who Travis Hunter, who Jace Feely, who Alejandro Mata, Shador Sanders are gonna be playing for. They're playing for some kids that are excited for Buff Nation football. They are gonna be playing for some kids that are so passionate about Colorado football. So when you are in that stadium and you're cheering, you're cheering on Colorado football, there's going to be a section in the Folsom Stadium that is dedicated to the students of the University of Colorado. And you know what their name is called? That section is called C Unit. C Unit was established in 2004. One year after Young Curtis, 50 Cent Jackson III, established his record label, G-Unit. So C-Unit got its name from Sabrina's kid. I did not know that they have awards for students who cheer loudly. They are certified on Twitter. They got the blue check. That unit is some proud unit. They cheer, win, lose, or draw. They are committed. So when you are cheering this year, when the season starts and you start to cheer and you start to lift your hand and say, go, go Buffs, go Buffs. When you're cheering and you see those students and you look over to the C-Unit, I want you to remember... Sabrina Jackson, who lost her life to the hardcore streets of New York City because she gave birth to a young man who started a record label called G-Unit, which inspired some college students to have an award-winning session where they cheer on their favorite team, where they cheer on their school and their university where they are getting a higher education. That section will forever be known as C-Unit when kids graduate from year after year. C-Unit will be there. And guess who gets to be celebrated each and every year when you are in that stadium until they decide to change that name, Curtis. James Jackson, the third, 50 Cent, Sabrina's kid. That's the stuff that legacies are made of. Salute, 50 Cent's Curtis James Jackson, the third. We celebrate you, Sabrina Jackson. I'm Harry B, TRP Sports Club. G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G